recognize. It's good to hear Michael. You know, I just turned 82, and I'm like the guy sitting on the park bench, 82 years old, and he's crying. The policeman said, what's wrong with you, sir? He said, you won't believe this. He married a 40-year-old showgirl out of Las Vegas. They go dining, dancing, they have a great time. He said, my God, man, why are you crying? He said, I can't remember where I live. <laughs> so, <laughs> but as uh, Michael mentioned, and everybody else here who got to be up here to speak, we are, we are in a battle. We're in a very, very battle with this, uh, this uh, sickness. And we got to beat the battle. And the only way we're going to beat it is through everybody realizing what it's going to take, everybody realizing what you have to do, and you get it done. Because there are a lot of guys who don't want to go get it. Check up, and that's a big mistake. I've been with this gentleman here for 14 years now. We have hit every ballparks. We've hit, I mean, we've been to so many Safeway stores all over the country. We go in there, we work in the, uh, in the counters. We carry packages out for the people to let them know that we're interested. We appreciate what Safeway and Dominic's, of course, is Italian. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but they do. Now I can remember very well when the writers came to me one time and they said, you know, Tommy, Steve Yeager's really upset with you. I said, why? He said, he claims that you made Mike Sosa the number one catcher because he was Italian. I said, that's a lie. That is a big, fat lie. I did not make Mike Sosa the number one catcher on this team because he's Italian. I made him the number one catcher on this team because I'm Italian. <laughs> <laughs> but I've traveled with this man. I call him a brilliant man. I've sat with presidents. I've sat with so many dignitaries I've been fortunate. And to be around him it's a pleasure and an honor because you see the man, this, uh, he does the job. You see, there are three types of people. Number one is the one who makes it happen. Number two is the one who watches it happen. And number three is the one who wonders what has happened. Michael Milken makes it happen. I've been with him, I've seen it, I know it. And I first anybody in this country is going to say a cure for prostate cancer, it's going to be this guy right here who put his money on the line. This guy, this guy, he's helped so many people, not just uh, in business. I mean, but this guy's dedicated. He's got himself doing everything he can to see that we can eliminate it. And uh, already, the number of deaths, you know, it's a silent killer. If you don't know it, you're going to go. You're going to go up and see the big Dodger in the sky. <laughs> but you get a checkup, find out if you have it, and you'll be a lot safer. So I want to thank Dominic's. I want to thank Safeway Store. You know, last year at Safeway up in Oakland, we had a cook-off. Two Oakland players versus two Giant players because they were going to play that night. So they had three outstanding chefs to judge the winner who who's going to cook the best steak. Now I've never cooked a meal in my life, never one, not one. So they're going to have this cook-off between two Giant players and two Oakland players. Well. Dave Roberts couldn't show up, he was sick. So they said to me, you gotta get in there. I said, I don't, I don't know how to cook. You got to get in there. So I said, okay. Now the guy from Oakland, his name is Ellis. And he's been telling me, so oh my, to my left, and he's telling me all the barbecue that he does. He said, we barbecue all the time, everything. I said, this guy must know what he's doing. 
I don't know what they give you the increments and everything. Well, when we took the steaks, we each had our own grill. When we took the steaks off, somebody called in by his name and he looks up and I took my fork and I took his steak and I put it in my plate and I put my steak in his plate. Now the three chefs, they were amazed that a man who's never cooked a meal in his life could cook a steak with that taste so wonderful. Tommy, what do you test? You never cooked a meal in your life. I said, well, I guess I gotta say, luck of the Italian. <laughs> so, but what I'm saying that's for is the fact that you gotta win. Whatever you undertake, you gotta win. And you gotta battle. We're gonna battle that, we're gonna battle prostate cancer. We gotta win. That's what it's all about, winning. And you go get a checkup, you eliminate the opportunity for it to get you. We got to beat it, and we can beat it through the way Dominic's and the Safeway stores and other people have helped us. And Michael, I salute you. You give your life to this thing. Thank you, and remember one thing. Remember one thing. There's a saying in this country, maybe you haven't heard it yet, but it'll reach you. It says, if you don't pull for the Dodgers, there's a chance you may not get into heaven. <laughs>